a 75,000 pound bird. I tackled this thing like he was a, like, like, you know how people who goat tie tackle the goats? That's what I just did. He's a big boy. With a boy. turkey. He's a big boy. He's, he's 30 something pounds yeah, dressed out. Hey guys, welcome to Three Mississippi. Sid here. Thanks for clicking on the video. We have Thanksgiving just around the corner, and I don't know if you can hear in the background, but we have turkeys out there ready to go. Uh, so today we're going to be processing some of them out, and we're going to show you how we do it. Mike and Frankie just got back from setting up their deer blinds because today here in Mississippi is uh, opening youth rifle deer season, so I think they're going to try to get out there and hunt a bit tonight, which means I'll have some peace and quiet around the house for a bit. Yay me! Let's get to work. Why not mic him? Because he'll yell at me if I try to mic him. But I don't want. Well, at least I don't consent. His voice carries over to our mics enough, usually, if we're close enough to him. They don't need to hear me. That's all right. I don't like you. Your dad doesn't like wearing you a mic. You bully it's me. A thing. I'm a bully. Yeah, none of the turkeys will fit in any of the size cones we have. Nice. So we're going to have to be a little Wait. creative. What? Are you going to be standing there holding them? And he's going to. Well, one time we laid them down on the ground and, you know, <laughs> and then another time we, like, tied them to the side of a coop. Hey! Oh, yeah. Hey! Yeah. That's perfect. Hey! Put that down, Good point. Um, I don't know how. And then I'll just have to, like, hold the wings. The blood is going to go in about a 12-foot radius. Nice. You told me to get the smallest one, I'm gonna do my best. All right, so we're gonna grab one of the Jennies first and start with a smaller one so less water will be displaced. It's gonna take a minute anyway. And then we're gonna it. have to hang it from the gambrel to process it out because none of our cones are big enough and we did not make one in advance. So we are where we are. And these guys are trying to get out there to be able to hunt tonight. I'm saying that one right there, or that one. Okay. I know which one's the... This one's my smaller one. Well, and she's also really easy to catch, so we'll start with her. <laughs> she's sweet. Yeah, she's... I want to pet her. <sighs> Can I have... You're going to hurt yourself. You want to carry her? Will she let me? Oh, yeah. All these birds are... Just get her the wings good. You got her wing kind of weird. She's puffing up. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't held a turkey in a minute. <laughs> What's up, Thanksgiving? <laughs> You're actually a nice little birdie. Yeah. I like you. You're the best birdie I've ever carried. Except for Rory. And like the geese. And Chicken living. Nugget. Your other silky that you had. Yeah, that's true. Nuggy. Loved him. This is so refreshing from the Cornish that try to kill you with their wings. Yeah. Like this is so... Turkeys are mellow. This is so nice. They were almost the national bird. These? Yeah, turkeys were. Turkeys in general, not that specific variety. They didn't exist yet, but those are man-made. Man-made, man-made turkeys. Well, man-made turkeys are nicer than man-made chickens. So, I'm sorry. She's about to be like, "Don't trust them. Don't let them." <laughs> they act like they've been picked up since they were chicks. Well, I did handle them a lot. Oh, okay, sweet girl. It's not. What am I doing? Take this thread it through both of those. Hey, hey. 
Now, obviously, this is going to be edited for YouTube because there's certain parts we yeah, can't show. Pizza. But we'll show you what we can. And uh, like I said, we are having to get creative here with using the gambrel. I'm going to come around her and hold her wing so that she doesn't basically bruise her, her wing. Oh, doesn't basically bruise her meat. And I'm in the danger zone. Hold on. I'm going to get to the other side of her because I got to make sure she's wrapped good. Once she's bled out here in a minute, we'll get her in the scalding pot and I'll start plucking her. You may, you be paying attention because you may have to assist us. Yeah. I can't lift her all the way out. Okay. She's too, you're not going to be able to either. Oh, I can't get my arm that high. Did she go all the way in? No, of course not. Right. Oh, I didn't know that was an option. I thought I'd get yelled at. <laughs> I was going to try to flip her around. <laughs> <laughs> Duck her by the head. Well, I thought, I thought he was going to lose his ever, yeah. Okay. Check a wing. Not ready. Nope. A little bit on one side, but not on the other. <laughs> Here, come See, if turkeys were the sizes of chickens, I would appreciate them a little bit more. Mm. But then they'd be more skittish and less gentle, because that's the nature of bigger creatures, generally. Coming up. Okay. Coming at you. <laughs> Woo! Pull, 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 pull. Probably good enough. Yep. yep. Should put on gloves. It's kind of hot. There's some right there on the back of the four wheeler. Oh, he loves butchering day deer, turkey, like chicken. He's like, it's game day. It's game day. This is his Super Bowl. It is. I think he likes deer season better though. More blood. More blood and like, it's exciting because you guys pull up at night. Oh yeah. It's like, it's like in the middle of the night half the time. Probably. Tastes a little bit less like salmonella. <laughs> My fingers are too fat, mama. Frankie, these fit me. There's no way they're not going to fit you. I have fatter hands than you. I don't think that's true. I do. I got hands like dad. Baby man hands. Yeah. I have like small hands like you, but fat hands like him. I'm attempting. I don't know why I listen to you. To me? Yeah. About what? I don't know. Like, what did I do? You gave birth to me. Oh, okay. And I love you. I'm feeling the love. <laughs> okay, work on that wing. Okay. 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 Yes, ma'am. Do you like my pinky? You do not find me amusing. It's hard oh. braced. <clears throat> See, but then when I'm supposed to be focused and you distract me, I get yelled at. Yes. And that's fine for you. Is it? Is yeah. It fine for me? Yeah. Never be a doctor. Yeah, this latex this gloves would really make me mad. It's really messing. I got it now. It's fine. Were your hands help. wet when you tried to put them on? Yeah. Oh, that's why. Because I was trying. I already started doing this. Oh, that's why you couldn't get them on. Your hands were wet. Yeah, well, you that can't. and my fingers are fat. <laughs> it was the wetness. No. I promise it's you. It's the latex gloves. They're the devil. Okay. It's not my but fault. They protect you from. Look at that booty. Good-looking turkey right there. Yeah, I did good. Turkey days confuse me because I ain't done one of them. Yeah, we haven't done. In fact, I, I don't think you've I, ever I, helped I, us with turkey. I've never helped the turkey. You were too little I was last too time small. we did turkey. I couldn't pick them up. 
I was there for moral support last time. What's the word for the thing that you have to take the biohazard suit off of? Why did that just go out of my head? The bio Gizzard. Gizzard, thank you. I was you. like, what biohazard the, suit? What I'm just calling biohazard what you call suit? It. That's kind of what it is, actually. But that's what you always call it. Anyway, that thing. And the neck so and the liver. Did you feed these this morning? No. Whatever they have in there is from whatever was left in the grass. In the grass. From. So Mike removed the head first, decided how long he wanted to keep all of the neck skin and whatnot. And now he's separating the crop and esophagus from the carcass, essentially. Kind of all these connective tissues in here so, yeah. that, so that when I get ready to pull all this stuff from the other end. Oh, blood. You probably want to show. Oops. <laughs> you literally throwing guts at me? Well, you flicked it at me first, so well, we're just my, having a little... was less intentional than yours. So <laughs> I wasn't trying to flick it at you. I was trying to go down there, and my aim was off. But that was, that was like a splat that I had right so there. So once all that stuff's kind of loose from all this connective tissue here, uh, it should pull out that way from the other end. Oh, dog. This is a fatty bird. Won't you stand there? Stand by it's me. It's a tumor. What if they don't have any legs? How are they going to stand by you? Got real quiet after that. That's good. Now I'm, I'm feeling organs. All right. Find that heart. Get all the way to the top and start giving her a yank. And watch out for that poop shoot right there because sometimes it shoots poop. Ooh, I'm going away. And here's that stuff I was disconnecting from the Ooh. other end, right? Pulling it right through. Just like so. A little esophagus there. Come on. Since these are going to be Thanksgiving birds, I'm going to leave that little butt nugget on there. She had eggs starting. A little caviar in there. Look at that. If you see that green sack right there that's attached to the liver, it's extreme. This one's dark, dark green. It's kind of even hard to tell it's green, but it, it is. That's bile. Don't, sh don't, don't pop ever it. touch that with a knife. If you do, wash everything. Oh, yeah. You did have some eggs getting started there. Yeah. Bunker. Oh, he just went that way. Want some caviar, Bunk? Bunker. I might have to throw it to him. I know you're not. What do you think, Bunk? Oh yeah, that's good stuff, huh? That's fresh eggs. So I'm just gonna cut around the poopy hole here. The hole de poop. Also known as the a cloaca. cloaca. <laughs> My favorite word. <laughs> Those of you that don't know, I'll explain real quick. The cloaca is an all-purpose hole that birds have, and it's where they have excrement, it's where they have their eggs from, it's where they have their uh, marital relations from, everywhere. It's an all-purpose hole, both the same for boys and girls. Cloaca, and it's a great word. I just love the sound of it. Say it with me. Cloaca! cloaca! Oh, see, the turkeys even like it. <laughs> there we go. Now. Good bucket. This little flap right here that I left on, I was leaving it on to see what kind of plastic surgery I might be able to do with it. See all that fat attached to it? That fat might be good if this bird gets cooked like this and stuffed. So I'm going to leave that. Most of the time you just cut that off there and you'd have an opening, but... Since I got surgical on it, I'll leave it. All right, so now you got to get up here inside the rib cage, all the way up here, to get the lungs out. Okay, and you got to like kind of find your ribs and just push into them, like so. You can't really see what I'm doing, but I can tell when I found the lungs. Couldn't find a lid and a thing together. And they're very bright red and color like that almost like hot pinkish built in lungs don't taste good guys they don't smell good you don't want to leave lungs inside the bird some people will leave the kidneys in but i don't uh this one's got a lot of fat covering the kidneys down here um 
but I still don't like kidneys. Kind of hard to describe, but what I'm doing is I'm I'm pressing through the fat down into these cavities that the kidneys are in, and I'm just kind of raking them out. So that's your kidneys right there. Everybody likes to keep that neck and uh, put in their gravy, but I like to cut it back here as far as I can. This is where this is where uh, surgery can happen on yourself. Take a look at that scar right there. Huh? Yeah. That was from a neck. Actually, it was from a knife. It was a chicken, not a turkey. It was from a though. knife while attempting to remove a neck. I thought you used the shears to take the neck off. But I cut through the, all the protein first. Oh. With the knife. Okay. And get down to the down to the bone. Bunko. <laughs> and then cut through the bone with the shears. And then the sheer anticipation. Boom, that's a big turkey neck. We're gonna Does it go in here? take these legs, just kind of hyperextend them, so you can see this. See this half circle right here. Come to the bottom of it and follow it with the knife, okay? And then just give it a little pop, and then just follow that right there around, just like that. Sir, hmm. do you want this in here? No, that can just go right in the ice. So again, hyperextend it, find that circle, follow it down, okay? Just like that, and then just follow it under so you're not cutting any bone, and there you go. Now we gotta wash it out real good. Oh yeah, that's, that's trash. What's that? That stuff right there goes in there, that's liver. You just put a leg in the feather bag. No, he put a leg on the ground. Put a leg in the gut bag and a leg on the ground for the cat. Oh, I swear I just saw you put nope, one leg No, the cat is currently eating it. a leg. leg. Put that in there, please. Sir? Yes. No, I just watched you do it. You did. You, you dropped the leg in there. Okay. Is this going in here too? Right, get re no, I'm getting ready to wash it. Up, clean that. But watch out. One of these years we'll set this up so our workstation is actually uphill of the table. We always set up behind the table on the downhill side, which is funny. But at least this year we have gravel down, so I'm not standing in mud. Right. Well, and it's also like off and on kind of raining a drizzly, drizzly there you go, Frankie. little. Put that on ice, would you? Did I make her? Whee! Huh. Get the water inside of it. That's what I'm doing. Alright. That's cold. Gizzard. Oh. That's the gravy maker. Oh. That's your gizzard right there. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a bunch of this fat attached, unless it gets in the way. I'm not gonna go out of my way to leave it, but I'm gonna try to because fat is yummy. And we're gonna take this gizzard and cut it along the seam. Trying to stop before the blade gets into the sandpaper. And by sandpaper, what I mean is this gizzard is where they collect gravel. You hear that? They use this gizzard as kind of a crusher with sand and gravel to help them process some of the roughage that they're eating before it goes further down. So like, this is not like poop or anything. This is this is like early stages of processing of, of, of large roughage. And since we have these things on pasture, um, they're having to actually utilize this gizzard where some birds that you buy from the store don't really have to use it much. Uh, that's why we got so much gravel in there. It's, it's pretty cool actually, science. And then they also inject some chemicals in here to help with the breakdown process. And that's what this yellow this yellow skin is let me see if I can get a hold of it so what when Sid was calling talking about a biohazard suit earlier this yellow protective biohazard suit right here is what she was talking about so we're gonna pull that out all the way you don't want to eat that and it definitely comes out more difficult on pasture raised birds than it does like on people raising birds on corn and I think the reason for that is because of how how much it actually gets used 
if I have to guess. But anyway, there you go. So that is a cleaned out gizzard. Now we're gonna give it a good wash. And remember guys, this is not poop right here. This is not poop. This is first stages of breakdown, uh, really second stage. It went through the crop and it's before it got to the intestines. Now I was trying to keep some of this fat on here, but I've got so much stuff in it that is not really desirable that I'm gonna go ahead and lose it to, to clean this up. Because this gizzard, this is a prime ingredient for your gravy. That's why dad makes the best gravy. I don't actually know if you do or not because I don't like gravy, but that's what everyone says. <laughs> he does make really good gravy. It looks like an earlobe, honestly. A little bit. <laughs> like like I don't... mom's earlobe. Pac-Man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Another Time one. To kill another bird. Like we think he's stressed out going to be 30 plus pounds, right? And he's too big to fit in our scalding pot. We've got another pot of water going along with our other big pot. And he's going to pour the water in there. We're going to scald him in there. He's not even going to fit in this cooler. Thanks for hanging out with us guys. We appreciate you. As always, remember, stay blessed and safety's off.